guys, and this is kind of a strange start, but the reason why uh, I'm back here again is because of a comment in the last episode by a, I hope I say this right, Kiel Kazuya said that you missed a sparkly, and sure enough, I watched the video and right there, I missed it. Um, so this is, uh, I had already recorded um, hmm. two episodes but I just basically reloaded the safety save I had in case the recording went bad or anything. And uh, I'm just going to show you this sparkly and we'll pick back up where the, uh, the recordings go. So, 15 ways to make that rich son of a noble family fall in love with you. Oh man, this is going to be a good one, isn't it? There are myriad women who dream of marrying a rich son of a noble. But there are also myriad women who are cruelly torn from that dream. So then what's the difference between the women who live their dream and the women who wake up crying? Simple, whether or not they read this book. Even if I don't know these things, I'm sure it'll be fine. Are you saying this to yourself right now? Don't regret it. The son of a noble family won't wait for you. Learn the 15 ways with this book so that you too can become the future wife of a noble son. This is going to, yeah. book. Everything will turn out fine between me and Master. He'll wait for me. Um... Think everything is going to turn out fine? <sighs> Ugh. Pack before it's too late. That son of a noble family isn't going to wait for you. <sighs> so... Are you sure you didn't want this? Don't mess with me! I said I don't want it! Even if I were locked in jail, I wouldn't read that garbage. I see. Okay, if you say so. And so who's the publisher? Hmm? What's that? I'm asking what kind of awful publisher would print this nonsense? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're they're still in the middle of their tip. Uh, I'm glad that I went back to, to see that, but um back to the uh, the episode proper. I'll see you guys then. Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls and uh, Toko and Komaru are having fights though I guess. There's a sparkle over there. Is that a new sparkle? I would have seen that sparkle, sure. Woo! Oh my god, that scared me. I, sh I would have seen this sparkle. This has to be new. Future Foundation's weapon. I found something interesting. It looks like a Monokuma has broken it, so it won't be of much use, but this seems to be a weapon designed by Future Foundation. It's some kind of bullhorn-shaped gun. Future Foundation always blabbered on about peace, but their weapon was crushed by a Monokuma in a second. Useless piece of junk now. Serves them right. Um, this is kind of weird to me, is, I, I don't think this would be the reaction of most people, like, did Future Foundation do something to these people that made them, like, distrust them or something? Also, I still haven't seen, I, oh, oh, there it is, I was just thinking to myself, like, I, I can't, I haven't seen the sparkle, can I reach it from here? too far. Okay, well, the relief is that it's there. I was thinking to myself, like, I haven't seen the Monica, um, the Monica Sparklies, but I'm really happy I saw those. I think I, I think I did one retry only. Maybe. Hopefully, I only had, like, one mistake, because it seems like the, the game will just let you have one or two mistakes, and they're like, yeah, we won't deduct points. 
There you are, Monica. Nothing there. Alright. Up we go. I'm sure everything will be just fine. We are going to arrive here right when they're probably going to attack and we're going to get blamed for everything. That's my assumption. Um, where is Shirakuma? Adult E? Um, hello? Hey! You too! Why did he not say anything? Why are the adults all freaking weird? Yay! Yay! You made it back safe! I'm glad! Now I want to hear the whole story, but first... Welcome back! Come, leap into my arms! Jeez, this guy developed a taste for hugs fast. Come on, don't be modest. Do it! Do it! <laughs> I, yeah, I guess I can. I haven't taken a bath for a while, so I might be a little sticky. Oh, how about you comb out your hair, take a bath, and change your clothes and undergarments first? Jeez, pushy. Why don't I just wrap myself in a bow for you, too? <laughs> well, I was trying to do a dirty joke since usually I'm very clean as a change of pace. Anyway, you two must be tired. Why don't you just rest for a while? With the mood in here, I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Aside from you, everyone seems unwelcoming. Th that's not it. They're just shy. I don't think that's it at all. I mean... Not just one, but two girls in school uniforms? That's enough to make a man's heart burst. I've heard that you only appreciate being high school age after you've graduated high school. Hey everyone, aren't you glad these young girls came back to us? See? Totally welcoming. Totally welcoming. What the hell are you talking about? Are your ears busted or something? Shouldn't we close that, uh, that door? Hey, Shirakuma, thanks for the offer, but I really don't feel like resting right now. Kamaru, what happened? Did the connection not work? No, the connection worked fine. But I'm just not sure Future Foundation is going to come through. I see. So that's why you're so down. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pat your head? Pat her head? How many heads have you crushed with a hand like that? Like I said, I don't do anything like that. Yeah, I know. I trust you, Shirakuma. <laughs> You're the only one I can trust anymore. Oh. Hey, Shirakuma. What should I do now? I... I don't know what to do anymore. To tell you the truth, Haiji and the others are in a conference discussing exactly that. Why don't you go on in and join them? Huh? But... But... That's not a good idea. Have you already forgotten you ignored his warning and went to Toa Tower? Oh, that's nothing. That was just a small misunderstanding. We still have the same goal. To stop these out-of-control kids and free the mistreated adults. Isn't that right? I... I didn't really think it through that far. No, really. I know you can do it. Huh? Rather, you have to do it. You have to be able to save the adults. What are you saying? She's the complete opposite kind of girl you want for this. This is Armageddon, and we gotta band together and destroy that kid asteroid. <laughs> Come on! Our future is in there! Jeez, what's wrong with him? Okay, well, door's closed. So that's good. Alright, we gotta we gotta make sure I get 
canvas this entire area and get every last thing. Uh, um. Uh, are you alright? <laughs> this guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> So, how did he end up like this? Good talk. How much longer do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place! No more! I can't take it anymore! Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. You think? Oh, man. Not good. It seems like every single one of them is gonna snap. Sparkles have to be in here. Come on, man. There you are. Daily effort. XP obtained increases. sparkle what is hope's peak elementary hope's peak elementary is as the name suggests an elementary school associated with the world leading educational institution known as hope's peak academy however acceptance at hope's peak elementary does not guarantee a seat at the academy only scouted students can attend but applications for hope's peak elementary keep flooding in. Why? Because the elementary is so dedicated to providing a high level of education. Like many private elementary schools, Hope's Peak Elementary uses an entrance exam with an interview segment to judge applicants. Because of this diligence, many of the elementary students are scouted for Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Elementary is also a research institution dedicated to raising the talent of the children. Is that, is, well, we know that like the the kids that are um, running the thing are at least from Hope's Peak Elementary, but did like, is that like the source of all of these kids running around? Like, is that only these hmm. kids and, and just them or did it spread out from there? Like, how did it work? I heard you're from Future Foundation. And what's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. Thanks for the warning. So someone's spreading a rumor that Future Foundation is trying to destroy the town? And that's why they're all being anti-Future Foundation? Where's the validity in that, though? Hmm, who's... Just waiting down here to die. I would rather go up to the surface and die there. I, I can't die in a place like this. Let me out of here! I thought I heard a strange noise earlier. It's okay though, right? We aren't found out? It's going to be just fine. I think. I, I sure hope so. But I really do feel like I can hear them. Their laugh. It's going to be alright. Sure it is, right? Monokumas aren't going to get down here. It, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's no use. I can hear them. The laughing. <laughs> He's losing it. He's not the only one. I don't think it's healthy for all of them to just... I think in a, in a way, like, all of their... Oh, dang, there's one right here. List of charity work performed by Toa Group. Exactly three months to the day has passed since the true ultimate despair died. 
Though it is completely certain, it can be assumed that the world will return to its former calmer state. To commemorate the peaceful future, let us celebrate some of Toa Group's charity work. Development of the air purifier, effective against the toxic air in the atmosphere, distributed their inventions throughout the world, manufactured and delivered weapons to combat the despair, supplied high-performance gas masks, built shelters in war-torn areas, detoxified portions of the land and sea. I mean, all of that seems legit. I was thinking to myself that, like, I don't know. I, I, for some reason, I keep thinking that Toa Group's going to turn out to be like this horrible, awful thing because whenever you talk up something so nicely, it's usually followed by like, oh my god, there are so many sparkles in this place. In the training of stacking ice cream, thinking she had no special talents whatsoever, Ko Konomi Tenri gave up on her current life. After hanging on for 17 years, she finally realized her special ability on the brink of her death. I have the talent to destroy other people's talents. A girl who destroys other people's talents and a boy who doesn't think he has any talents at all. Just what road will these two take? What? What? The, the, the cover and the title of this have nothing to do with the uh, contents. Toko! Oh, are you two gonna get along? Nice. <laughs> hey, you were also a student at Hope's Peak Academy, right? What's your special talent? You're right. Didn't I tell you? The talent is writing. He used to call me the ultimate writing progeny. Amazing! Oh, that's so cool! A novelist! That's really admirable. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to me to be admired by a talentless girl like you. Jeez! You think I'm talentless, but I'm really good at something. <laughs> you say you're going to say you're super good at reading manga or something, right? Uh... Damn. Wait, you were really gonna say that? No, I'm special in tons of ways. Like how I use the desk mat instead of a fan when it's hot. Or how I only get called in class when I don't know the answer. The only thing abnormal about you is your stupidity. Hmm. I kind of wish I was more normal in that area then. Hm. Now that I think about it, your reactions are all pretty normal too. Stop it! No, 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 stop! Don't treat me like a normal person anymore! And... How fast do you run a hundred meter dash? Mm -hmm. I want to say 18 seconds. And what's your favorite music? Top 40. <laughs> Horrifying. Mm -hmm. Jeez, stop it already. You're making me sad. What's your favorite saying? All's well that ends well. And? And your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Um, it's swallow's nest and tuna eyeballs. What is Swallow's Nest and Tuna Eyeballs? Is that an actual meal? I'm gonna load up a picture here if it's an actual meal and it's not disgusting to look at. Huh? What? Hmm? Something wrong? No. No, I must have heard you wrong. What's your favorite food? Mm hmm. I told you, Swallow's Nest, Tuna Eyeballs. Oh, I also like kangaroo meat. I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation. <laughs> Another sparkle? The tragedy was a Future Foundation conspiracy. Although, although Future Foundation's stated mission is to help the world recover from the tragedy, our editorial department has received a tip that claims Future Foundation themselves caused the incident in the first place. To no one at this publication's surprise, the true ultimate despair is at the top of Future Foundation. Mm. No. That can't be true. 
can't be true. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. By inventing an opponent, they significantly complicated the situation to further plunge the world into despair. This opponent is Future Foundation. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and and try to combat the despair with increasingly drastic measures. The reason why it took so long for the incident to settle down was because Future Foundation was protecting the despair. There could be no other explanation. Consider this. The ones who developed the air purifier was not Future Foundation, but Toa Group. Isn't it strange to think that Future Foundation, on whom the faith the world relies, are technologically inferior to a single company? No, because what? I mean, Future Foundation might not be, like, research and development in making freaking air purifiers. That is a terrible argument. Yo, Coco and Fufu. Heard you went outside. Well, I figured you would. How should I put it? There's something different about you two compared to these people. What do you mean? How can I say it? the air around you, it's different. You two are always facing forward. But in here, the air is getting heavier and heavier. Everyone's stressed. Stuck in a dark and moldy place like this? How could you not be? Anyway, you went outside. Can you tell me about it? Did you get some kind of clue about people with wristbands? Um... What's going on? Enough dilly-dallying. Hurry up and show her. You always say normal this and normal that, but now you're freezing up? So cruel. What do you mean? Hm. Nothing. I was just saying something normal, to use your favorite word. Hey, hey! Um, what's up with you two? Hey, hey! What, do you both have food poisoning or something? Oh, can I not turn things in while they're fighting with each other? <sighs> okay, then. Alright, I'm going to do one last sweep of the area and then I guess move on. Hopefully, I did not miss anything. It doesn't matter if they're just kids. We have to kill them before they kill us. But the kids have those Monokumas on their side. We have to do something about them first. What do you mean by that? It's like I said, we have to take them out somehow. I'm at my wit's end here. If I stay underground another minute, I'm gonna lose it. I'm telling you, without a plan, a fight right now is far too risky. Kaiji, as later, oh. <laughs> what do you think? Holy I have everyone's lives in my hands. There's no way I'd put you all in danger. We're going through the entire alphabet. I'm completely against a suicide attack. Even for those who are prepared to die. So you want us to just stay here? <laughs> You're telling us to spend our lives in this shitty place, constantly afraid of those kids? My principle is to not waste lives. As a leader, I cannot accept a plan that defies that. B but I'm not telling you to stay here forever. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Does anyone else have any ideas? Haiji, is it all right if these girls join the conference after you guys take a break? H Hello. You two. Why are you two here? I already told you, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. It's not the time to argue. You guys have to get along. Especially at a time like this. Regardless, this conference is over. No, not yet. It's not like you've considered all the options yet, right? Remember the idea I brought up before? Did you consider that? I already told you. It's impossible. I understand how you feel, but... Hey, 
What exactly are you guys talking about? It's about persuading the children. Persuade? That's your idea? It's obviously a little late for that, don't you think? But you guys are all humans. You can come to an agreement with words instead of violence. Uh, I don't think... So, I don't think the kids with the Monokuma helmets can understand what they're even doing. I think that's... they're being brainwashed like that. And then, as for the three remaining kids, I'm not so sure they would back down. Definitely not Monica. I don't... Nagisa, maybe? Maybe? And I just don't know about Kodoko. You really think a group of monsters like those kids can be reasoned with? I bet they'd kill us the moment we showed up to treat with them. Plus this group here? There can't be peace with those kids. You know what they've done. But, but still, why don't you at least try? It's like Shirakuma said, we're all humans. Did you already forget who we're dealing with? Remember what that P.E. Punk showed us? Just because they gave birth to us and raised us, they thought they could control us all as hero. I hunted them down and let everyone go free. <gasps> Those brats don't even care about family. Things like persuasion? It will never work. That's right. They're not human, they're demons. And not just that, even if we tried to use family to persuade them, it's not possible. The survivors here don't have any children anyway. Wait, the, ev everyone who's alive here doesn't have kids? As in their kids are dead, or as in they never had kids? Huh? W wait, you mean everyone here doesn't have any kids? But there's so many adults here. It's probably not a coincidence. Those kids are focusing on parents first. The brainwashing has them kill their own parents first and then continue killing. Oh. Why? Who knows? They have a deep-seated hatred of the ones who raised them. It's messed up. It's impossible to persuade a group like that. I'm completely against the idea. But if fighting is impossible and persuasion is impossible, what are you going to do? Didn't I already say it? The best plan is to just wait for a while for a good opportunity. And exactly how long is this for a while? I don't know. But now's the time to toughen up and endure it. You say wait and endure. You're just repeating the fact you're not gonna do anything. You're an outsider. How could you possibly understand? I am the leader of this resistance. I have to think about the lives of everyone here. What resistance? A useless leader like you? You're even more of a burden than this chick. What did you say? Hey! You too? You don't think about others and just say whatever you want. You're no different than those kids. You're the one who's a child. Complaining, not even doing anything. If you don't like the way I lead, then you can leave. No one is going to stop you. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm leaving. But I know you're wrong. Let's go, Omaru. You're the one who's wrong, Toko. Huh? What are you saying? You... don't understand. You don't understand the feelings of the weak at all. I... I'm not blaming them for being weak. I'm blaming them for using it as an excuse. <sighs> That's exactly my point. The reason they don't do anything is because they can't build confidence. I would know. You're someone strong, with talent, chosen for Hope's Peak Academy and Future Foundation. You don't know how people like me feel. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't understand what it's like to be weak. You think I'm chosen? You must be kidding. What's so great about me, huh? I'm a walking inferiority complex. I don't have confidence. I never have. But what's going to change if I just keep saying that? Using that as an excuse every day? 
I... I learned that... from the killing. I suffered for it, but I did something about it. So for you to say that I was just chosen, like I had nothing to do with it, I won't allow it. Admittedly, Toko, you never really explained your side of what happened, so Kumaru has had no no way of knowing all of this. This is actually really interesting. I'm really glad that they had uh, Toko be Kumaru's sidekick for this uh, this game, because it really it really it's a really good storytelling tool, like. Her, her background and position and thoughts, it's its a very unique standout character, and I mean, she, she could easily overshadow Kamaru in, in her personality and everything and just completely overpower the story, but, um, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, like, I, I really am glad that they chose to do it this way. Please, wait, guys! Oh, fighting is a big no-no! Emergency! Oh. Monokumas are attacking us! Well... We made it to adult Q. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look like little papers diving into the... <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Oh. R S T U V W <laughs> F. Why are there Monokumas here? How did the children find out about this place? That's not important right now. Just run! Maybe we should run too. Wait! Please, protect everyone! P protect If this keeps up, everyone will be killed! If you can at least buy us some time, I beg you, please! We need you! Now's not the time to argue. If we don't fight, our lives are in danger too. Fine. Oh, okay. Please save everyone. Everyone's going to be killed. Oh, shoot. Are you <gasps> kidding me? How did get here? It's me. You're Oh my god. Is it over? It's just gonna unlock secret base defenders. Oh my god. That was intense. Your fault. I knew you were gonna blame them. Huh? This whole time I've been so careful keeping this place a secret. I convinced people to stay underground. Stay hidden so they couldn't be followed. But after all that, this happens. The only explanation is that they followed you! You brought them here! We... we did? When you contacted Future Foundation, the kids must have honed in on you. They tailed you, and you brought them right back here! Well, except we, the viewers, know that that's not true because 
Nagisa already announced that he knew where the hideout was. It's all your fault! You did this to all of us! <laughs> That's not fair! I... I didn't want this to happen! Oh, wait! These two protected us, didn't they? If they never came back after their stupid mission, this place wouldn't have been ambushed. Th that's a baseless accusation. You're just making an assumption. Well, as long as I'm assuming, I guess I'll go one further and say you guys are spies for the kids. Th that's not funny. What could we possibly gain from that? You know that, you know what they say about people who assume. I remember an old folk tale about a war between birds and beasts. By using the face of both bird and beast, the bat played both sides. But because he couldn't get too close to either, in the end, the bat ends up alone. What are you trying to say? That they're bats? Bird or beast? I wonder which side you're on. Neither. You're both scumbags. Huh? Damn it! This again! Please! Make it stop! Why? Why now? What is that? What, you're asking me? Don't act like you don't know. No, the hey, mono coins! Lock me! Up. I lost the mono coins! 